Hi fellow Webflowers. So sometimes you need to control the content of your slider in one place, especially when you have the same slider over and over again on your website with the same content. A good example would be a testimonial slider. Maybe you want to update the position of a person and don't want to make the change in every instance of the slider or you want to show different testimonials on different pages. For this, a CMS slider is just the right solution, but Webflow doesn't support CMS-powered sliders yet. You could use an external slider library like Swiper.js, but this would require you to rebuild all sliders and handle more custom code and external scripts. So on an existing website, it might be the better option just to extend your current Webflow sliders. And for this, you can use FinSuite's CMS sliders. It is also an external script, but you probably won't need to rebuild all your sliders from scratch. So in this video, I will show you how to set up your sliders and your CMS collection, how to combine the slider and the collection with FinSuite attributes, and a couple of tricks to give you better control over your slider content. So let's get into it. So in the last video, I showed you how to set up this slider and how to give all slides the same height. If you haven't built your slider yet, I highly recommend you watch um, this video first and you find the link to the video in the description. Um, so once your slider is prepared, you need to add a CMS collection list to this page. Uh, I place it below the slider, something like here. But actually, it doesn't matter where you put it as long as it is on the same page as your slider. Next, I click here to connect it with my testimonial collection that I have prepared. Then I copy over one of my testimonial cards from here and paste it into the collection list item here. Normally, I would give class names to all these elements here, but we are not going to style them. That's why we can skip it. And yeah, now I need to connect the elements of the card with the CMS collection. This goes with a quote here. Here's the portrait image, the name, and last, the position and company. Um, I could also connect the stars here to choose how many I want to display for each testimonial, but maybe that's something for another tutorial. Ah, and before I forget, if you want to become a top-notch Webflow developer, to win new clients and increase your rates, then subscribe to my channel not to miss any of the following videos. Or maybe you're a business owner trying to build your website yourself. My Webflow Studio offers design and Webflow as a service. We work with many small to mid-sized tech or SaaS companies and we can help you with your existing website or build it totally from scratch. So if you want to use your time to build your business rather than your website, feel free to contact us. But let's get back to our slider. So next step is that we connect the slider and the CMS collection list with each other. For this, we need our external script from FinSuite called CMS slider. And as always, you find the link um, to FinSuite attributes in the description of this video. So to get started, I copy this script here and I open the page settings and I paste it here in the head of the page. And yeah, I prefer it to paste it in the settings of the page, um, only to the pages where I'm going to use the CMS slider. Um, of course, you could also paste it in the project settings, but this would mean that the script gets load on every page, even if you don't have a slider on it. And yeah, this is not so good for your page speed. So I put it in the page settings. Next is I need to add a custom attribute uh, to my collection list. Uh, for this, you copy this text block here and let's go back to Webflow. And I paste it here and the needed value was list. Yeah, this way the script knows that this collection list is the source for our slider. Be sure um, that you give the attribute to the list and not to the item or the wrapper. And yeah, the next thing is that we mark the slider with an attribute. For this, you click here on slider 
and copy this text block. Yeah, back in Webflow, be sure you select the slider element um, with this icon here. Go to the settings and paste your attribute here and give it the value slider. Now, um, yeah, now with this, the script knows that this is the slider and will automatically replace its slides with the cards from our collection list. So that's the logic behind it. Um, yeah, you can delete the current cards within the slider, but you don't have to. And in the case you have more than one slider on a page, you need to change these values here. Uh, you have to rename the attribute values uh, from slider to slider-1, slider-2, and so on. And if you go back to the list, you also have to change this here uh, from list to list-1 or list-2 and so on. So if we publish our page now, let's go here, you can see the slider now contains our cards from the CMS. Notice that the CMS collection below is also hidden automatically. But to prevent unwanted layout shifts in case your site loads uh, a little bit longer, I recommend to set the collection list wrapper to display none. So go back to Webflow, select the collection list wrapper and set it to display none. In case you don't have a utility class like I do here, uh, give your collection list uh, wrapper just an individual class name before you hide it. Um, just be sure not to hide the cards uh, within the collection list themselves because then they won't be uh, visible anymore in the slider. Yeah, when I publish my page again and go back to this tab, you can see the slider still works. But one thing I see is that the slides don't have the same height anymore. For this, we can use some custom CSS. Just go back to Webflow um, here to your ambit with your global styles. And if you don't have any, uh, create one. You can see I use a component here because I have this component on each of my pages. So they all share the same custom CSS. Open the component and your ambit. And uh, in my case, it's this one with the custom styles here. And I'm going to paste this CSS. You can see all classes um, with the prefix W dash are the Webflow standard classes. So uh, when you target them, uh, the CSS will work on all sliders regardless of your um, custom classes. The only class you need to change is the last one here. Yeah, this one. It's the class of my card. Yeah, you can see all cards have the same height now. But what if you want to change the order of your slides or you want to display different testimonials on different pages. Hmm. To set an order, just go to your collection list, open the settings here, add a field and select number field, name it to something like order and yeah, save it and save your collection. Now you have to go through your CMS items and uh, give them the numbers. I recommend you uh, to do it in steps of five. Uh, so you always have the possibility to put in a new testimonial somewhere in between. And yeah, once done, I made it in the meantime, as you can see, go back to your collection list, switch to the settings here and go to the field sort order. Choose your order field here. And yeah, you can change um, top to bottom or bottom to top. So, but what if you want to display different testimonials on different pages? I would recommend you to create a tag system for this. Um, so go to your collections again and create another collection and call it something like testimonial tags. Click on create collection and click create your first item. Each item works like a filter here. For example, you can create uh, an item called home and use it for testimonials you only want to display on the home page. Like this, yeah. Or you could also create another item and call this one B2B for the case that you only want to display business customers. Whatever, you name it. Now return to your testimonials collection, open the settings, add a field, 
and choose multi-reference field, call it tax and connect it to your testimonial tax connection. Save the field and the collection like this, yeah, and uh, open your testimonials now. Down here is your new field where you can select your tax. You can select one or more and save your testimonial. So in the meantime, I went through all the testimonials and gave them some tax. And now let's return um, to the homepage. I uh, select my collection list here again and delete this class for a moment to make the list visible and go to the settings and create a filter. I choose my tax field here, um, as you can see, and filter it on the B2B tag. And you can now see the list uh, contains uh, less testimonials. But to only show testimonials that are set to be to be and home at the same time, I create a second filter. So choose my tax field once again and set it to home. And once you have at least two filters, this little select field appears here where you can choose if the item should match any filter or all filters. I choose all filters. And yeah, let's hide the list again. Publish a page. And as you can see, we only see our filtered list now. Yeah, these steps you can repeat now for all pages where you want to display different testimonials. But if you want to filter your testimonials and give them an individual order at the same time, you have to choose a different approach. For this, go back here to your collection list. Let's display it again. Go to the settings and delete the current filter. Um, now you have to create a new filter on the name of the testimonials. You have to type the exact name of your CMS items here. So the filter works. Unfortunately, there is no um, select. Um, I just copy and paste two of them. And to show them all, you have to switch the match criteria again to any filters. And now you can see, uh, I only have these two persons here. Yeah, and if you want to learn more about the basics of the Webflow CMS, you should watch this video next. Thanks for watching and as always, stay in the flow.